Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Alfred from Batman the Animated Series. So come on, let's get started. You can't have peanut butter without jelly. You can't have an Oreo without that white filling. You can't have Batman without Alfred. There are a lot of you who have been waiting for me to do this video. Some have been pretty insistent. So without further ado, let's try Alfred. All right, so if we're going to try Alfred, we've got to remember that he comes in at about six and a half heads tall. Um, I have been getting uh, some emails lately uh, reminding me that superheroes come in at about eight heads tall, which is true, except that I've been doing animation videos, which, uh, the for whatever reason, animated superheroes come in usually no more than seven heads tall. So, I do plan on doing um, comic book drawings as well. Those are in the future. Right now, we're on a roll, so we're going to keep this going here. So if we're going to draw in Alfred at six and a half heads tall, I'm going to come in two, three, four. Oh, well, here, let's break. Two, three, four, five, six and a half. All right. So here we go. We know how tall Alfred is. So one beauty of Alfred's design in this series is that they were very, very minimalistic when uh, designing his costume. Alfred wears a tuxedo, um, and with it all being straight black with a white shirt, um, they decided to not throw in all of those detail lines when it came to buttons and lapels. It's basically, uh, it's basically just a shirt front, uh, and they did an outline for where the jacket buttons up, and then the sleeves and the and the pant legs, and that's it. So let's see. Let's figure out right now uh, his his body here. So let's see. We got a line up here. His chest would go right about here. Um, we know he's got a, a high waisted jacket. So. Another beauty about Alfred's design is that they went so sleek on him that, I mean, honestly, let's see, pant legs would come down here. He's wearing a tuxedo. So those tend to be very full in the pants and they tapered down at the cuff. So what they did was they gave him a very, very boxy shape to his body. So let's see, we know where the floor is. So I'm going to give him a cup. Uh, we're going to draw in, uh, let's see, we'll draw in a foot here. Like this. To give a little bit of dimension, I'm gonna come up here on this leg and this leg will be more to the side. And basically when you're drawing in dress shoes in the Bruce Tim world, we've got like a rectangle on, uh, on an angle here, right? And then it just cuts off right here to a point. Um, actually, I'm not loving that shape. Ah, there we go. Got it. To color the shoes in. Okay, so now with this cuff, they really taper it in at the bottom and then give it a little bit of excess baggy fabric there. You'll find that in all of the characters' uh, suits. You'll find that used very effectively when you're drawing in Two Face. Or, um, or Bruce Wayne. It's that simple. All right. So now, let's give him, let's give him his shirt. So it's nothing but a curved line here, like that. 
And then, let's see, we gotta remember, this is gonna be the front of his shirt. And why do I draw that line in? Because I'm gonna erase that later. Um, because we need to know where the bow tie and the studs fit on his shirt. So what we can do is we come down here and we're just gonna give it a nice curved line like that and a nice curved line like this. And there you go, there's his tuxedo shirt. He has a bow tie, which is really nothing more than an X. And we just close off the sides of that X like this. I mean, how cool is that, right? And then we have three studs. One, two, three. Like I said, we're not drawing any lapels because that's not part of his character design. But down here, we have a line here, and then the tuxedo jacket comes in like this. And then, it comes down here like this because he's wearing tails. He's a fancy butler. Fancy butler. Now the only thing left to do here is to throw in his arms. So we're going off of the model sheet and one arm, he's got his hand up here as if he's, uh, you know, he's, as if he's, fixing a button or if he just needs to rest his hand like so being very butlery so here let's let's erase the details of the shirt underneath the hand so that I don't confuse anybody and remember we're drawing in Bruce Tim style so everything is kind of angled like so so his fingers are just basically uh, bent this is the back of his hand. Then, let's give his forearm, his upper arm here. And now, you know, we'll just pretend like this is cylindrical. And we're going to throw in an exaggerated cuff. He's wearing cuff links. And in like this so so again with the with the fingers he has four fingers right so I split it down the middle this shape is down here in the middle and then I'll split it down into quarters and then now that I know which fingers are going where I know that the middle finger is a little longer the ring finger goes a little shorter and then the pinky is quite short just like that Give a little squiggle line right there for his knuckles. And there we have it. Um, his tuxedo jacket. The sleeves will come out a little like this. And then because it's bent, give a little excess fabric right there. And then the rest of it is streamlined, just like that. Now on this arm, this arm is going to be straight down to his side. So, we're going to remember that these arms have to be the same length, and this one is gonna be bent. Uh, it's not gonna be bent, it's gonna be straight down. So that's where his cup will go, just like that. We have to give him some sleeve here. And now, the line to the sleeve will start here and we'll come straight down. This side, give a nice full upper arm here, and then right here near the elbow, give it a little excess fabric, and then come down. The, yeah. So the cuff would go here. So his shirt cuff will come out. Again, he's wearing cufflinks, so that has to exude out a little bit. Exude? 
That's the wrong word. And his other hand is just down to his side. So, going to bend those fingers a little, like that. Then, just like everything else, just like all the other hands in this world, I split it down into twos and then split it again into quarters, just like that. Darken in the lines, but I keep those straight. And then, there we are. So we drew in Alfred's basic head shape, right? But what I want to do is take the ear, right? And then I'm going to draw a horizontal line up the top of the ear across the head and one across the head down at the bottom of the ear. What that does is it gives me an indication of where the nose and where the eyes go, right? So the eyes for Alfred are egg-shaped, just like this. Let's just make sure that they are the same size. There we go. And then, with Alfred, I like to draw in his eyebrows. And that eyebrow, I'm going to bring down and I'm going to follow that shape down this way into his nose, which will come down here like this and then it will come up to that line. And while I'm drawing this, I want to give a shout out to a friend here in the community. His name is Leo. Leo was awesome. He sent the Animator's Bible to the Batman Animated Series. It gives you everything from character descriptions to uh, model sheets, uh, layout designs, all of the uh, design principles, uh, animation principles for the show. So what this is, is it is a guide for everybody that works in the production. I already had a pretty impressive collection of model sheets from this series, but what he gave me was absolutely amazing. It is complete. So Leo, Listen, thank you so much. That was awfully nice of you. You didn't have to do that, but I am so grateful that you did. Oh, okay. So we've got this A-shaped mustache that comes to a point right underneath the nose and it tapers right down into the corners. We're going to give him a very unimpressed uh, facial expression here. We've got the mouth is closed and now we'll throw in his chin and then we're gonna give him now Alfred is not a large man by any stretch but he does have um, these cheeks that come down like so and then we'll work it into his jawline. Now I haven't gone into the eyes yet. He looks awfully cartoony right now, but that's okay. We're gonna very lightly draw in a line across his eyes. Now I do that so that I keep the eyelids in the same position, okay? We're gonna give half of a pupil underneath that line, and then we're gonna darken in the eyelid going to darken in this much of that top line and then we only give him a little bit of a, an underline for his eye. And we can't forget he has kind of bags under his eyes. Must be from all those nights waiting up for Bruce to come back to the cave. And there we have it. I'm just going to lightly shade in his hair differentiate. Guys, if you like drawing videos like this, I've got some more right over here for you. I want to thank you so very much for joining me today, and until the next video, we will see you later.